We have seen how you can paint manually stroke by stroke but ZBrush has a special mode called Spotlight that lets you project entire image at once. Like a lot of special modes in ZBrush, Spotlight comes with its own unique interface that quite literally reinvents the view. It can be a bit tricky to use but once you get the hang of it, it can be very useful. So before we can use a Spotlight, we need to have an image to work with. For one, you can go to the the texture options here and you can select uh, like select any one of these from here okay or you can simply go to light box and you can go to the textures option here and choose the one that you think is you know good for your model so maybe for me i might use something like a rocky thing i will make it like a, a, a rock like a dog made out of rock so i will just double click here to uh, bring it uh, to my scene. Okay, so I will double click it, and if you can see that it's there. So you have, you might have to uh, do that a couple of times because sometimes it doesn't load. Or if you want to bring your own image, you can just go over here, go to import, and bring your own image if you have it. So you can use your own image as well. So once you have an image here in your texture swatch. You want to go up to the texture over here and after that you have to click add to spotlight so here is your texture here make sure it is there and what you need to do is that you have to click add to spotlight so you will find this mode somewhere here add to spotlight so you have to just click on the add to spotlight so as soon i will uh, click on it for the first time, it always gives you sometimes your like light box, which you have to close. But you know, in the version 2021, uh, it has uh, changed a little bit and it doesn't open that because before it was quite annoying. So you have to manually turn that off. Now here, what we are looking at is a totally new interface that is just for this texture protection feature, like projection feature called Spotlight. So let's get acquainted with it or, you know, if you will work more on it, maybe it will become your best friend. So this wheel over here, if you will see, it controls uh, like, you know, most of the things you can. If you want to move this around, here is the small circle and you can move around here. So what it can do is that it can scale your objects. OK, and if you can see it can uh, create a or like spotlight, it can do the rotation here. It can do painting, it can uh, do nudging, it can do, it can restore if you have done some changes. It can make, uh, you know, all these kind of things. And if you hover over these all settings, you will see it shows what it do uh, right over here. It's a little hard to see because uh, it's orange color and the background is too, you know, uh, uh, like big here. Like it's a, it's, it's a very large background, which is covering it up and it's hard to see. Okay. So the first thing I want to do over here is the scaling. Now, how to scale? First of all, I will just I can move it anywhere here. So it shows me where is the image center. This uh, orange dot shows me image center. So it will snap if I will go to the image center here. If I will go, so it will show me the mesh center, the my subtool center. So it's totally up to you on which center you want to go. So right now I'm up to first the subtool center, the mesh center. And then I will go to my scale. So if I want to reduce the size of my image, so I just have to go to scale, click on it and rotate this. As you will see, it was rotating the dial. OK, so it is resizing it. It's kind of very nice uh, way of doing that. And at the same time, you can, you know, move this around and you can put wherever you want. And if you will go in the middle, of this small circle and this big circle and move this it will move the image itself okay and temporarily you can turn this on and off okay if i if you press z on your keyboard it will turn off that dial okay and you can move your uh, you can see that in the background it is moving my subtool it's navigating my subtool so 
if I will move it here and then if I press Z again it will come back on the screen so if you want this you can do that now let me see where is the opacity here over here so for the first time when you are you know looking at it for the first time it's quite overwhelming because there are a lot of options over here okay and I think I'd have done something wrong it's fine okay now I have to look for where I have my uh, opacity so here I have opacity and background opacity now if I will go to the background opacity and try to move uh, like this so nothing will happen because this is for the background okay background of your uh, ZBrush now if you will go to the main opacity and change it so you can see that you are reducing the opacity of the image itself so I want to uh, you know make it quite a little smaller over here now if I will start uh, if I want to uh, move it uh, move this here somewhere I can move it okay and also here you can see you have image mid edge you have mesh mid edge you have uh, mesh uh, you know mid edge or uh, like number two so here you have mesh center you have image center you have mesh mid edge and you have mesh mid edge over here for the starting this is the image so you have all these kind of uh, smart guides over here which help you to uh, nicely arrange that this is uh, something new inside the 2021 okay so you have this all over here so this will help you to uh, nicely place your uh, your image so if I will go here somewhere and if I want to project this so I have to go to my uh, like projection op option here okay so which is basically that but I will go back uh, like uh, on that uh, like uh, a bit later so first let's do some settings over here now I want to set up this image uh, I have set up already the size of the image by scaling this up or down you can do that also you can rotate this suppose I want to rotate it in this direction or something like in this direction you can rotate the image in that direction now you might have noticed if I'm in the center of my image you can see that and if I am resizing this the resizing or rotation is happening from the center relative to my this dial but if I will move uh, this uh, dial okay I have to go here in the center and move it somewhere else now here is my center now now if I will scale it so it is scaling from this side and if I will start rotating it will rotate from this side so it is uh, dependent uh, like this uh, uh, any uh, changes here is uh, mostly depending on your uh, center of your circle so that's why these uh, points over here these smart guides over here helps you to arrange them the way you want uh, like them to be there now before uh, projecting this image on my character first thing I want to do over here is nudging so here is the nudging option so you can see that just like in Photoshop you have uh, the puppet wrap or you have uh, you know envelope wrap or those kind of thing it is it does the same thing over here now what it will do is that if I will go to any part of my image and now if I will uh, let me double click here so once I will double click here and I can start uh, now working on this one sorry single click so you have to single click on it and make sure there is this uh, orange or whatever color you have on this one that means it is activated and you can work on so you can change your brush size if you want and it is too big now so if I will now use it let me make it bigger I think bigger is much better so if I will move my image you can see it is nudging just like you do with the puppet wrap tool or the wrap tool inside your uh, Photoshop so what I'm doing is that I'm trying to let me put this off the screen so that it won't disturb me so now you can see that if I'm going to these uh, side I'm trying to match these stone lines to uh, to contour with the body of my dog over here so 
this maybe this is something that you want to do but you have to be careful that you are not on the uh, outside edge because if you will move this outside edge and if you will click over here what it will do it will snap your uh, circle over here so you have to be your uh, like uh, option spotlight over here so you have to make sure if you are doing anything you have to stay inside that a like you know this or like a uh, border of the image otherwise it will think like you want to snap this there okay so i will not go over here what i have I, I want to do is i have to be inside this border so this is what i'm trying to do the arrangement over here and see how everything is done so once you are ready with this like suppose i'm ready with this and now i want to project this now once i'm ready i will just bring this here somewhere and where i want to go is the spotlight radius so once i will go to the spotlight radius and if i will change the size you can see that let me do one thing let me put this somewhere here so you can see what is going on so if i go to spotlight radius you can see that there is a radius appearing over here that is showing me if my spotlight radius size spotlight radius is the tool from uh, which i will start projecting this image on uh, on my sub tool okay so it is the radius of that it's becoming bigger or smaller okay as bigger or smaller you want so uh, if you're satisfied just uh, you can make it as big or small if you're satisfied just leave your mouse and then you can click on this and change it okay once you are done now now if you're ready so what you need to do is that you just have to uncheck this uh, nudge so you're not in the nudge option and you have to take your brush the shortcut for this brush as you know is b for brush b for uh, like paint a for arrow so you will get this brush once you have this brush okay now that you have ready with your brush and your all your settings are uh, you know fine over here uh, you have this paint option and you have to make sure your opacity is uh, like quite high over here for that okay and you can see your intensity of the brush is all set up so you can click over here and then you can click and drag and see what kind of intensity you want of your image okay you can see your hue all these different options you can click and drag and see what you want actually over here so this is the paint option here how you want to it to be darker or lighter so once you are satisfied everything is done and your paintbrush is there you just press z on your keyboard to temporarily turn it off and then you can find your best angle and you can start painting over here now oh, i'm on the lower subdivision so i have this kind of a, a error coming up so let me go to the higher subdivision level oh, wait. so i have it's there is no subdivision so Control d to apply two three times now if i was paint over here you can see that it is actually painting projecting that image here okay so what i else i can do i can go back here i can move this image okay uh, by pressing in this middle button and wherever i want this image maybe i want it somewhere here and maybe i want to rotate this image okay so i can rotate this image as sorry here's the rotate button i can rotate anywhere i want then i can put it somewhere here z and then i can paint the other part so very straightforward to paint you just have to uh, set it up press z again then maybe you want to make it smaller so you can go to the scaling option here okay drag the scale size totally up to you move the image to move the image you have to be in the mid uh, in the mid of this bigger uh, like circle and the smaller circle to move it around and you can also rotate it and when you're satisfied okay you can move this and choose your angle you can use the same angle as it was before or you can start painting on a different angle and one more thing you can do over here is you can go to your uv map here morph this but i don't have a uh you know like a map here so it will not give me anything i have not uv mapped it so in case you have done it, like suppose if I will go here, unwrap this, uh, the symmetry, okay, and now it is done. Uh, oh, sorry, I have to go back to my lower subdivision level. So I will press Shift D 
couple of time to go back to my lower subdivision level. Then if I will unwrap this one, okay, still it's not there. I don't know why it's not doing this. So let's go manually here. Okay, and then unwrap it. Now it is unwrapped already. So I can go back to higher subdivision level. Then I can go to my UV map, morph it. And once it is morphed, okay, there was a glitch there, but now it's gone. Uh, no worries. So if I will bring my Z over here, so I can, uh, let me press Z again to move it in. So what I can do here is I can paint directly over my UV. So it will be much more better if I want to do this. Okay, like paint over here on the flat surface instead of rotating that. So you can also uh, quickly paint with that option. Okay. Now you can see that uh, I have to move my image because the image is not on this area. So if I will try to paint, it will not paint. So I have to go to, I have to press Z again and then I, uh, it will bring me back to my spotlight. I will move it here between these two uh, circles. You can move the image, press Z again to go outside, paint it. Okay, the area, oops. So at this stage, what I can do is that I can lock my camera. Okay. So it won't move the camera while I'm doing this. So, you know, you can easily do all these kind of things with the help of this. So Z to bring it back, Z to move it. If you want to paint it, you have to uh, like you know move to this view. So press Z. And it will bring it you back here. And if you want to do some settings, Z again, and it will bring it back. So I will press Z to go back here, make my camera normal, and morph it back. And you can see easily it is morphed. And you can press Shift key on your keyboard to smooth this area also. But I don't want that. What I, instead of what I want is that I will press, I will just go here and paint this area to so it will remove those seams which are created. Okay, so let's go back here or let me zoom this in a bit here and then I will press Z over here. You can make the image bigger by clicking and dragging here. So it will do that. You can nudge and whatever you want. Now, for example, if you want another image over here, so uh, you can still do that. You just have to uh, go to the texture okay, and bring some other image or from the spotlight, it's totally up to you. And once you have this, suppose I want this one, or maybe uh, let's bring some interesting one. Let's, let's bring this uh, globe. Okay. So once I will click on that, or uh, you can see that it's here. Now I have to add this image also inside my uh, spotlight. So I have loaded this already. It is now here inside my, if I will go to texture option, it is inside the texture. So I will just click over here, add to spotlight. So this image is already applied now. Okay. So now as it is applied, you can, uh, if you want, don't want to select this one, you want to select this back, you can click on this and this will be activated. And then you can move this the way you want it. Okay. You can make it bigger, smaller or whatever you want to do. If I will press Z on my keyboard and then you can see both images are now there. So it's totally up to you how you want to arrange this one. Now, suppose you don't want this one to affect, so you can just click on this uh, image, uh, okay, put this away. Or if you want to do some kind of tiling, so here are some kind of uh, arrangement option. You can click here, so it will arrange in this way, or in this way, or in this way. So you have different tiling options as well over here, okay. So, and you have this fade option here. Suppose I don't want to see this image, uh, you know, 100%, so I can fade this one uh, just like that, okay? Or opacity you can change up here so that it will affect that or uh, that one, okay? So this is how you can uh, do that. Now, if I want this one, if I'll bring it here, it is in front of this image. So you can bring it back by clicking on this button or bring it front by clicking on this button. So you can arrange two images together or more than two 
as many you want okay so you can do some arrangement let suppose i want some other image maybe i want this image okay i will click on it go to texture add this also to the spotlight now one thing i don't really like is that it rearranges everything so i have to bring back the whole thing uh back okay so i want to rearrange all this so that's one uh thing that i really don't like over here okay because i have if i'm adding something so it have it will rearrange the whole thing so it's better to uh bring all your images that you want and then you can uh start painting all of that on that so now i have different collage of images there which i am now painting on my doll so that's one thing you can do with the uh these uh, zbrush spotlight tool okay now if you don't want any one of these images you can delete them to delete you just have to select that image like suppose i don't want uh this image okay so i can click over on this image okay and press the cross button it will delete this image i don't want this one as well i will uh, press i will select this one press this now the one that i want is this one so i will move it and to move the image you i think you now you might have known that you have to click between the smaller circle and bigger circle so that's how you will move the image but if you will click on this this will move your circle back here now one interesting thing that i always like to do over here is the extend okay and the tile now what does the tile do i have vertical tiling and i have horizontal tiling vertical tiling if i will click and drag it will start giving a tile to my image horizontal tile will start giving my or like a horizontal tile to my image so this image is quite bigger here so let me try to make it smaller in order to create this or let me bring some other image here okay so i will go back to this image and texture load this one okay and remove this image from here now you can see that if i'm increasing the horizontal tile so it is repeating my texture horizontally okay and if i will go to the vertical tile this is the vertical so it will repeat my image vertically so this is a good way of uh you know repeating your tiles if you want to do that now here's the extent what does the extent actually will do is that it will extend your image horizontally but at this stage it will not work because this image is not that uh you know big enough for that person but what it do is it extends your image okay so that's the main thing what it uh, actually do okay now here we have flip you can flip it and flip vertical on all so there are a lot of different things and you can try on like these things here now if you want to if you are done with your design okay if you want to paint as you, now i know you like uh, you have uh, might know that you have to press z on your keyboard start painting and if you want to do some changes z on your keyboard to go back here but if you want to completely exit the spotlight press shift and then z and now you are completely out of that mode and you can start your normal sculpting over here okay you can convert this into your poly paint or you can convert this into your texture map here so you can just press over here from a uh, new from poly paint okay and it will create a texture just like this here so i use this mod a lot it's sort of like an advanced version of regular poly paint but you can really place a uh, photographic detail exactly right where you want it and then paint on it so it's a really useful uh, like a uh, option and feature inside the zbrush so if you have liked this video related to the poly paint so oh, sorry the spotlight please like my video if you have any questions uh, you can leave in the comment section below and if you uh, want to, to share my video please feel free to share it with your friends and i would love if you will uh, you know share it my share my videos on your social media account so give me a shout out so it will really help me 
So guys, take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.